just finished unrolling my crescent rolls and I separated them into two pieces so they make a little rectangle. You'll have four pieces. I'm going through and I'm just really nicely kind of just bringing that seam together so it makes one piece. Pretty simple, pretty easy, just like that looks great. Now you'll come in with some cheese of your liking. I am using this Colby cheese right here and I'm just going to place it right in the center of these crescent roll squares that we have right here, just like this. Wait until you guys see this easy breakfast trick. Oh my goodness, I think you guys are gonna love this. The kids love this. I love this. <laughs> And I wanted to eat it, so that is exactly why I'm making it. Okay, perfect, there we go, we're all cheesed up. Now here I have a little bit of ham. I went with the black forest ham, ultra thin sliced, because I did want a really good thin piece. And I'm gonna take the piece of ham, and all I'm gonna do is fold it, and I'm gonna put it right there in the middle. Super simple, super easy. What's breakfast without some scrambled eggs? I don't know, are you a fan of scrambled eggs? I'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle. We don't want too much because we wanna be able to close these guys up. So I'm just gonna put it right there on top of the ham. It's okay if it gets a little messy. It's okay if some of it falls out right now because we can always fix it. Don't you worry, huh? Don't you worry now. All right, perfect. Look, I made three eggs and it looks like it's the perfect amount for these four crescent roll squares. Now this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna take this crescent roll and we are going to fold it all the way over this, what we have right here in the middle. So we're rolling it up and we're kind of making sure that all of those corners and all of those little nooks, crannies, and crevices are pinched together perfectly. And we are on a roll here. This is super easy, so don't be discouraged by it. Now, once you roll it all the way up, you're going to want to bring it together and around just like this. It looks like the cutest little bagel that, I don't know about you, but I've ever seen. So you definitely, want to make sure that it's all connected and pushed together. That is a very important step so we can seal all those delicious ingredients right in there. Look at how cute that looks. This is turning out great. Okay, now we have our little bowl. We're gonna crack an egg right in there, adding just a little bit of water, just a tiny little splash, and let's stir that up, just mixing our egg in with our water, creating a little egg wash. If you wanna use milk, of course, that's fine. I know that that seems to be a popular selection. I just always go with the water. All right, that looks good. Now I'm gonna take my brush and nicely brush over the tops of these bagels here. Ooh, look at how glossy that is looking. This is going to seal it all together and this is so important. Do not forget your egg wash. Lastly, we have some of this delicious everything bagel seasoning and I'm sprinkling it right on top of these stuffed breakfast bagels. That's what I'm gonna call them, stuffed breakfast bagels. Look at how cute that looks. Oh my gosh, you guys. And this is just what they look like. We didn't even bake them yet. I haven't even showed you the middle yet. You are gonna love these things. So stick around, wait and see how they turn out. Right now, we're gonna pop them in the oven at 350. We're gonna cook them for, I'd say it's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them and I'll let you know how it goes. They're gonna be delicious. Wow, you guys, look at how amazing these turned out. Ooh, they look so good. They're perfectly golden brown. 
I'm gonna come over here with my plate and just grab these suckers right on here. <gasps> these little bagels are the cutest. Oh my goodness, I love them. All right, oh, I can smell them. They smell tasty. Okay, look at that. We are good to go. Hey, Erica, you wanna come over here and uh, sure. you wanna give these a try? Okay, my helper wanted to help me, so we're gonna let her get the first taste of this breakfast bagel. I'm gonna get you this one right here. How's that sound? Yeah. All right, I need you to take a big hot. bite in the middle. It shouldn't be too hot. I let them cool down, so let's see. Get in there. Ooh, oh, I see you got some ham. <gasps> wow, do you like it? It's so good. Here, you can go ahead and take this one. All right, there you go. You can have that. You guys, I want to show you this because you're going to love it. Look at this. When you come into this bagel here, you have the ham, the cheese. I can see the egg in there. Ham, egg, and cheese bagel, right like that. There you go, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This is so good. It's handy, it has everything right in there, tucked away. You're gonna love this, definitely give it a try. Let me know what you think. Would you add anything different? I don't know, I'm going with ham, egg and cheese all the way. <laughs>